Yo, 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 hey guys, Rowan here, and I'm checking out Sunless Sea. This game looks super sweet. Gothic-y, horror-esque, and RPG elements. I don't know. They had me sold on Steam at the tagline, Lose Your Mind, Eat Your Crew. I don't know much about this game, so we're just going to jump right in. Yes, please. All right. You live too long underground to survive on the surface for long. All right. Uh, three decades ago in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. Stolen by bats? Like vampires? Uh, that's not important. What's important is the vast black sea beyond London. L London, bleh, London, a sea which is yours to explore. Choose a past. Decide who you were and what you want to be. Past wreathed in shadows. Decide later. If you just want to get out to Z immediately, choose this. Opportunities to revisit your past will arrive later. That sounds kind of cool, actually. You know what? Let's do it. Let's roll with it. Alright, go. Alright. You're a stranger quality has gone. Welcome to the world. Quality of lodgings hasn't changed because it's higher than zero. A thing has happened. For now, you are a mystery. No one was born a Z-Captain. An occurrence. You're dressed as quality is now mumble. How do they speak to you? What? Um, okay. Uh, I don't... Okay, what's this? Comatose ferret. Mostly it's immobile. Occasionally it's feral. Right click to speak. Oh my gosh. I have a ferret. Oh my gosh. I totally have a ferret. Hmm. Right click to speak. Speak to the ferret. Oh my gosh. That is sweet. That is the cutest looking thing I ever did see. Lies across your desk like a lumpy scarf. That is sweet. Yes. I'm going to play with my ferret. Play, that eye roll says. Play, I played once in this happy warrens of London before you installed me in this floating coffin and made me eat dried food. Damn your play. It is an eloquent eye roll. Okay, so it's not a happy ferret. Okay, I'm sorry. You're, you're a very unhappy ferret, and I'm partly to be responsible for this. Um, okay, so I got stuff. Help me. I don't need no help. I am Rowan. Don't you know who I am? Uh, lodgings. Or retire. <laughs> well, I think it's a little early to retire. Oh, uh, let's do it. Um, okay. Better lodgings, the better quality of retirement, naturally. Read the morning papers. The expurgated Gazette, the magazine formerly known as the London Magazine. The spiteful trumpeter, news. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of locked stuff. Okay, let's just take a look at the locked stuff quick. Rest in a room above the blinds, helmsman. If you don't have the echoes to go out roistering, best stay at home. This reduced terror heal won't give you restful night. Okay, so in guessing I need money. Purchase an elegant townhouse. Ooh, I need monies. Lots of monies. Write a will. The Court of Chancery, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom it may devour. Ensure it doesn't get its lion tentacles on your property when you're gone. Should you die, this will ensure that your heir returns your lodgings and any heirlooms you've accumulated. Ooh. Uh, wait. A will means I would have to die. No, that is unacceptable. Adorn your lodgings with captivating treasures. Convert captivating treasures into heirlooms, and they will adorn your lodgings until the day you die. After that, your family will probably sell them. So, way to pass on money to your next character. You need to pay a small fee to write these treasures into your will. Okay, so this is basically how we um, pass on stuff when we kick the bucket. Convert a collection of outlandish artifacts into heirloom. Individually, these artifacts are interesting interesting together they're unique this is a way to pass on money okay write the song of the z 
You have assembled a store of lore and a collection of antiquities. Your knowledge of the Z rivals that of any captain of history. Write it all down. This will create the Zong of the Z, which enables you to retire happily if you have the correct ambition and is a pretty nifty item in its own right. That looks like it requires just a ton of stuff. Consider retiring. Um, okay, so that can't happen until later. Back to the rest of the city, or you could click the London card on the right. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, continue. Okay. London. She's the greatest city on the Untazi. Or don't you forget it. Wait, here, I want to go back to my lodgings. Oh, oh, okay. Go. Read the papers. The Echo Bazaar, the enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. That is terrible, and I will not stand for it. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. Absurd. I am going to go sing outside her palace, and they are not going to stop me. The anarchists of the calendar council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. Ah, you know, I can see that. Ministry of Public Decency has located and des destroyed a nest of gall blighter wasps. All right, you know. I'm down with destroying gold, bl gold blighter wasps. I would have done it myself if I knew about it. Um, okay, let's... Uh, okay, so this is my ship, huh? Um, reconditioned frigate surplus deck gun mark two. This way up. Oh, well, yeah, that's good that it's labeled so we don't uh, have it the wrong way. Okay, serves good against small monsters or feeble pirates. Elderly steeple engine, battered rusting mechanism that will ensure your ship goes in more or less the correct direction. Huh. I'm not entirely too uh, impressed with my ship. Oh, we don't want to just jettison. Fuel, coal dug from the Z cliffs are imported from hell. Oh, okay. Uh, supplies, food, and equipment. If you run out of supplies, hunger will destroy you. Great. 50 echo. Currency of the Bazaar, thus the currency of London. Invictus Token. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. You are in unforgiving mode. With no sla sa 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 save slots beside the basic autosave. You will lose this token if you switch from unforgiving to merciful. Uh, why would I switch to merciful? Recent news. Okay, so that's curiosity, I guess. Journal. You know something of the Unterzee. Uh, quality of lodgings. A room above the blind helmsman. Where do you hang your hat in London? Your past wreathed in shadows. Ooh. Um, okay. Officers. I have nobody. Except for my ferret. He's captain of the ship. Shops. Oh. There's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, there's all kinds of... Ew, this could get dicey. Okay, I don't know what anything is or what the the stuff does. Is there an info? Ah, okay. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm looking through a lot of stuff, but I really don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, coral, okay. Devil bone dice. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So it, it's a bunch of, like, trade goods. Okay. Billitude's House of Vision. Political convictions may be suspect, but his ship lights are reasonably excellent. Caminus Yards. The dangerously jovial Mr. Fires employs the finest craftsmen to manufacture the most intimidating and least carefully tested devices. Carl's Naval Surplus. Mr. Carl is finding a use for the equipment once sold to the sadly reduced Royal Navy. Here you may purchase weaponry. Miss Plenty's Shipside Provisioners. A profitable sideline for the notorious entrepreneurs whose carnival lies just north of Wolfstack. Wolfstack Exchange, an uncouth bustle of yep, yelping merchants. is difficult for a small trader to turn a profit on open market prices. Best look for better opportunities. The Iron and Misery. 
More powerful engines are essential for larger ships and will drive smaller ships faster but consume more fuel. So these are where I buy stuff. Okay. Shipyard. And I have a Liga class steamer. Tramp steamer has served well but for a long, long time. So I have an old ship. And these other ships are pricey. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh my gosh, a dreadnought. I want that. But I can't afford it. Okay. Uh, to London. Okay. Uh, visit the Admiralty's survey office. They'll pay for information. Find out what and how. All right, let's go there. Um, continue. The Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligent networks are long gone. The survey office pays Z captains a small sum for recent information. Visit and investigate ports to gain port reports and trade them in here. The first time you trade in a port report, you'll gain Admiralty's favor. Uh-huh. Ask if there's anything in particular they need. Okay. Um, so I can't have too many Admiralty's favor. Unlocked when Admiralty Commission is. No current commission. Has to speak to a higher authority. No more than two. You don't have anything else for us. Okay. I will um, see if they have a mission. Okay. S this port. Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that you are rewarded. Visit the port below and return to London. Uh, Guiders mourn in the Corsair's forest east. So I need to go east. Okay. Um, okay, go here. Continue. Yes, I have an appointment. Once you've proven yourself, perhaps. Survey three ports and return to win their approval. Well, fine. I'm leaving. Onto the foggy street. Turn your collar up. Okay. Fine. Um, visit the university. The university has inexhaustible appetite for secrets, Z specimens, and other tidbits of es esoteric lore. Provide a secret to provide yourself worthy of entry. Find secrets by locating locations of interest or in foreign ports. Okay, so I, I have to have some kind of secret. Crows and Wolfstack docks. Aha! Everyone knows that when you're on an adventure, the first thing you go... And do is carouse at the inn. 80% chance success. Locked with 30. Alright, we just want to check more stuff before we carouse. Hire on more crew. Sensible sailors are looking for a safe run to the tomb colonies. Or at least a sane run to the southern archipelago. I. Archipelago? Archipelago? Archipenguin? I don't know. You'll need to buy drinks, spread around hiring fees, look for Darrow Devils. A very modest challenge. So these are basically skill checks. Okay. Um, unlock with crew more than nine. You have eight. Unlock to 30 echo. Go. Okay. Put your ship in dry dock for repairs and sometimes other purpose. Offer passage to tomb colonists. Clutch of emigrants will pay to be taken north to Vendor Blight. Unlocked with no more than zero tomb colonists. The new recruit who waits your attention. Locked. Mm hmm. Ready to put to Z. All right. We are going to carouse. Yes. Sea shanties. Good companionship and the warmth of a pub fighter. Fighter. Fi fire? Yes. You now have recent news. Okay. I thought I already had a recent news. It says I can't have more than one recent news at a time. I've lost 30 Echo. Okay. I am fortunate. Watch for the fall of a card. Okay. Um, and we will offer passage. Okay. It is oddly difficult to die and fall in London. But when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. The tomb colonists are near old. Take them north to the colony of Vendor Blight and sell them there. I have dead people. Technically passengers rather than goods, but you'll never know it to talk to them. So I've got a bunch of corpses. Oh. Okay, then. I'm also thinking my carousing was a terrible idea, but we're rolling with it. 
Um, okay, for repairs of sometimes other purposes. Um, okay. Reputation for repairs, okay. Good enough for now. Ploy Rattus Farber Engineers. The rats of Fallen Lungeon are remarkably skilled engineers. They, wait, rats? Rats? Okay. They are not, however, reliable. Payment is kind, not... Payment is in kind, not currency. The repair is some out of your hole. How much? Difficult to say. Sometimes lurking on the docks of London. Unlocked with no more than zero times wretched mog. Okay, so... I assume the rats won't help you if you have a cat's. The rats don't like cats. Okay. Help me. Do I need help? Um. Oh my gosh. This, um. All right. Uh, boy. I should probably read all this. That is a lot to read. Hmm. All right, hold up. I'm going to cut out here and I'm going to get edumacated. Be right back. All right, that actually wasn't all that much to read. So, um, well, we're gonna launch. I don't know what I am doing, actually. So odds are I'm going to die a horrible screaming death. So that's something to look forward to. I feel like I am going extremely slow. I'm not sure if that's, um, Supposed to be the case. Um, okay. How do I speed this beast up? Hmm. Okay, that's full power. Okay. Okay. Um, discovered bad spinner's abyss. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm backing up. Okay, stop that. Okay. Oh, here we go. No, can it? All right. Oh, you, you start speeding up over time? Maybe. Hopefully we don't just burn through all my fuel. Some sort of beetle has invaded your morsel of ship's biscuits. The, it waggles its antenna impertinently. Okay. Oh, discovered the auroral... Right over here, there's stuff. The auroral megalops infestation outside Fallen One. Some driven these glowing terrors north. Okay. Discovered Rowan's Rowena's rocks. Okay. Uh, the Auroral Meglops. These are younger form of gargantuan sea crabs driven up from their spawning grounds and splashing around like crazy, apparently. Driven up from their spawning grounds in the south by peculiar radiations. Younger they may be, but they are still large enough to consume a pony with messy and clattering glee. Or pose a menace to ill-prepared ships. It surges from the water, its carapace throbbing with a queasy golden glow. Flee, it's only little, but you have better things to do. I'm not gonna flee. Fight, fight, fight! Combat tips. Alright, trying to increase the enemy's illumination. So you can damage them, they're trying to increase yours. Evasion actions, reduce illumination. Attack enemy. Attack actions, do hull crew. Life damage, your mirror's veil is okay. You've engaged. Alright. Um... Okay, so it's paused right now. So, we're trying to build up. This is illumination. Okay. Requires 100 illumination. Uh-huh. Devastating salvo. Okay. Salvo. Interesting. Illuminates an enemy, but also illuminates the attacker a little. More effective, but requires one fuel. Um, based on distance, increases illumination. Does not increase your illumination, but has longer cooldown than firing flares. Okay. We're gonna seek. And... Okay, let's, um... Okay, both me and the enemy are seeking here. So, I guess it's a battle to build up these gauges. Okay. We're both seeking. Okay, I'm gonna pause quick. Um, okay, reduce. Okay, evade. 
Okay. Yes, let's evade, because I don't want the enemy so close. Okay, evade. Yes, we're going to evade again. Playing this safe, I guess. Okay. I'm going to try a flare. Okay. See what happens. Okay, evade. He's probably got me right where he wants me, huh? Okay. Let's evade. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but it, it, it feels prudent. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure that this is actually effective. Okay. Okay. Oh, actually, that's kind of working. Okay. Um, this is probably a horrible way to do combat. Forgive me. I just don't want to take... Oh, he's chomping on me. He, he chomped on me. Okay. All right. He needs to get shot now. Did he eat my crew? Okay. Is he dead? Okay. Um, did, I, I don't know. Did he eat some of my crew? Uh, with a forlorn and wailing cry, the megalops turns on its back, legs folded neatly. As bluish blood gouts from its wounds, its golden glow begins to dim. Butcher it for supplies. Record observations. If you gather at least about three observations, you may learn something. Uh-huh. Dissect it for knowledge. Yes, please. A crab full of conundrums. You set to work with your knives and acids. It is undistinguishable adolescent specimen, a megalops of one of the deep Z crab species. But its eye is normally vestigial in these trogelid trogdolidic beasts are large and rather beautiful. Its golden glow is almost gone now, though sparks leap now and then to your knife. You've gained one fragment. Scrap of lore. Okay. You succeeded in a pages challenge. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, we're, we're doing all right. Um, oh, what is, what is this? What's going on? A sailor has grown fretful and disobedient, reluctant to go on deck even in port. There's a white Z-batch watching me up there. Salt's messenger. Salt's got its eye on me. I'll never see home again. Salt. Zaylor superstition, order him up at deck at once. Salt, one of the nameless gods, the Zaylor's fear. He's a conscientious man. Send him to the sick bay on the pretext of fever. Feed the Z-Bat. If white Z-Bats are sacred to salt, perhaps you'll win salt's favor. If you believe any of this, shoot the Z-Bat. If the <laughs> bitty thing is frightening to your blid bitty crew, you'll bloody well settle its ash. Um, okay. Um, not going to, uh, kill it. Let's, let's feed it. Unlocked when salt's attention. Okay, go. The Z-Bot takes fungal crackers from your fingers as boldly as a parrot. It dips its head to you and chirrups something you might mistake for speech. It spreads its wings and leaps up in the air. The next day your crewman is gone, along with one of the ship's boats. No one saw him depart or knows why. You've lost one crew. You've gained five fragments. You now have Salt's attention. It's watching you, if it even exists. You now have one stone, storm, and salt. There are gods in the sea. Um, That's terrifying. It's literally terrifying. Okay. I've got to learn how to maneuver this boat thing. Oh, uh, boy. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, so I have to double tap to move faster. Ah, that's going to take some getting used to. What is this? What are you? Are you a thing? Are you a thing? Oh, 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 that was... Oh. Oh! Oh, what What did I do? What, what did I do? Um... The ship founders. There are screams, a flood of dark water, the unforgettable sound of a ship's spine breaking. Perhaps if you remembered in song. Um. I'm dead. I crashed <laughs> into a ship. And I'm dead. Okay, go. Sleep. Choose the legacy to pervert... Pres pre pervert. To preserve something for your next captain. Your quality of lodging's quality has gone. 
Aha. Uh -huh. No more sleep. Preserve your chart. Preserve your officer. Preserve a skill. Preserve a skill. Yes. We'll inherit your progress in the skill. Okay. Uh, I guess that's... That's the end of this episode, folks. I sank beneath the waves. Unknown. Unloved. And... Unremembered. But I will rise again. Oh yes, we shall return. In the next episode. Goodbye. For now.